Melania Trump is saying goodbye to her time in the White House with a message that's turning heads. The First Lady released a nearly seven-minute video on January 18, 2021, calling for unity in America. In her farewell message, the First Lady of the United States said, Use every opportunity to show consideration for another person and build good habits into our daily lives. In all circumstances, I ask every American to be an ambassador of Be Best, to focus on what unites us, to raise above what divides us, to always choose love over hatred, peace over violence, and others before yourself. But Melania's message about putting others first doesn't quite match her actions when it comes to the Bidens. President Donald Trump and the First Lady have reportedly snubbed Joe and Jill Biden during the transition of power. Kate Anderson Brower is the author of First Women, The Grace and Power of America's Modern First Ladies, and in an opinion column in CNN, she said, Melania Trump will become the first modern first lady not to invite the woman who will replace her to the White House for a walkthrough of the private living quarters on the second and third floors. The Twitter reaction to Melania Trump's farewell video was fast and furious. The tweets about the video were harsh, and the video quickly became a trending topic topic due to the strong reaction. John Wolfsall, whose Twitter bio mentions previously working for Joe Biden, wrote, She has time to record a video, but not to have tea with Dr. Biden? Actor Willie Garson tweeted, We don't care, Melania Trump. We really, truly don't. MSNBC's 11th Hour tweeted, Melania Trump, whose Be Best campaign was often at odds with her own husband, will join the outgoing president in skipping town ahead of inauguration and snubbing the Bidens. Mrs. Trump did not specifically call out the U.S. Capitol attack in her farewell video. Instead, Melania said, Be passionate in everything you do, but always remember that violence is never the answer and will never be justified. Another thing she didn't mention? The soon-to-be new first family. A source told the Washington Post, some had hoped that she would at least mention, if not welcome, incoming First Lady Jill Biden in the video, but she did not. Despite the apparent snub of the incoming administration, Melania addressed a range of other issues. Though her husband Donald Trump's response to COVID-19 has been criticized, First Lady Melania Trump's farewell speech addressed the ongoing pandemic by thanking healthcare workers for their roles in saving lives and urging Americans to protect themselves and those around them until the vaccine is distributed. As the world continues to confront the COVID-19 pandemic, I thank all the nurses, doctors, healthcare professionals, manufacturing workers, truck drivers, and so many others who are working to save lives. We grieve for the families who have lost a loved one due to the pandemic. And I ask all Americans to use caution and common sense to protect the vulnerable, as millions of vaccines are now being delivered. In October 2020, Mrs. Trump reflected on her experience with the coronavirus, calling herself fortunate as her diagnosis came with minimal symptoms. She added, Our country has overcome many hardships and much adversity, and it is my hope COVID-19 will be another obstacle we will be able to tell future generations we overcame and learned from in the process. I encourage everyone to continue to live the healthiest life they can. In her speech, Melania Trump also referred to her and Donald Trump's legacy and the good they carried out during his presidency, saying, Together, as one national family, we can continue to be the light of hope for future generations and carry on America's legacy of raising our nation to greater heights through our spirit of courage, goodness, and faith. Unfortunately for the First Lady, not everyone agrees. In fact, when she used the word legacy to describe her Be Best campaign, an anti-bullying initiative she introduced in 2018 to promote the well-being of children, Twitter, unsurprisingly, roasted her. She tweeted on January 15, 2021, As the legacy of Be Best comes to a close at the White House, we must continue to give a voice to our nation's children and the issues that impact their lives. It's the values and spirit of the American people that inspired Be Best, and it's those values that will carry on its mission. Many called Trump's behavior in the last four years the complete opposite of her Be Best campaign, and believed that Melania did not achieve that mission at all. One person wrote, What legacy? Your husband demonstrated to children all over America that bullying wasn't just okay. It was something the President of the United States does. He modeled childish temper tantrums and insults for four years. 
That's your legacy, lady. Meanwhile, another added, your husband is the biggest online bully the world's ever seen. Your mission failed miserably. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.